full today, so we might not have a sea breeze come in later on. Morris to continue. Mm. It's been a fun battle. Full and straight to mid off. That's the first wicket of the day. Hughes tries to punch that one through the offside, and Morris puts the tempter out there. And Dan Hughes is the first wicket to fall. And one for 30, New South Wales. And it's Lance Morris who gets reward for what's been a pretty good bowling spell to start the day. Well, that's discipline, especially for Morris. As we've mentioned, he's been the pick of the bowlers out of the four so far. But, um, again, easy to say, but almost unnecessary there from Hughes to really be hitting that ball in the air. I mentioned he's a bit of a clipper and likes to hit the ball in the air. And Good catch, though. And he's an hit it to the worst possible fielder in Hilton Cartwright. He's one at mid-off there. We'll take a look at it here. And, yeah, that's regulation for yeah. Hilton Cartwright. And as you know... Jordan Cartwright is, is the, in the top two on the field for, for fielders and he's not going to be dropping those and you can see the disappointment, the despondent look there of uh, Daniel Hughes but um, got himself into a point and um, effectively gave his wicket away but well bowled Morris, you've got to give the bowler credit, put it in the right spot for a cup in. Morris again short and wide and a great catch at Gully by Paris, diving away to his right. Morris baited Nikitaris into the shot. Couldn't get on top of the ball and control it. And a great catch diving to his right by Joel Paris. And Lance Morris has two. Two wickets down for New South Wales. And been a nice little stint after drinks here for Western Australia. Well, it's a funny looking spade because there was no digging going on there. That was just a wild slash. He'll be very disappointed with that. Had done the work. It got cramped up and, and um, put one through to... That point position to Rocacello. Good a time as any as uh, Blake Nikotaris finds his way off the ground to have a change in commentary. Dan, you'll be joined by Wayne Clark. I will indeed. So Patterson remains out there on two. All of a sudden, as Wayne Clark rejoins me. New South Wales in a spot of bother at two for 37. Curtis Patterson on two. And the previous wicket was the youngster there in Nikotaris. A whitish gully. A point. Morris. Sanger beaten. He's caught. That's good bowling from Lance Morris. He deserved that. Sanger fishing out side off stump. And a good catch taken by Philippi. That's a big wicket, Jenny. That's a massive wicket. Sanger... He's looked probably the most confident out of both of them. And he departs, caught behind for 21. He was just starting to, to look like he wanted to up his own run scoring rate. A bit more intent to score we'd seen in the last few. But just a great delivery. Back of a length. Uh, we spoke about Sanger not really committing forward with a small step. And you see it in reverse there. And it's probably been his undoing. It's just a tiny sort of shifts his weight back to the back foot. It was still partly on the front foot, sliding around. Not sure they trust the power output <laughs> probably to, to do it so get overheated very quickly in that area as that one's top edge there's a man down at fine leg will it carry it will and it's taken <laughs> fanning gets himself amongst the action with his first catch in first class cricket and key wicket goes down looking to be aggressive enriquez gets the top edge and a wicket for joel paris well a regretful wicket Again, for a, a leading player of the New South Wales side, you can see as he trudges off in our screen, here's the replay, around the wicket, bangs it in, it's got that front shoulder, excellent height, good direction. Enriquez takes it on, Enriquez takes it on, but um, top edge. Sometimes you do see those get the distance and travel all the way through to go for six, but not on this occasion. Celebration from Joel Paris. Well deserved wicket for him. He's worked hard. Close. Here's Morris, and that's a very good Holy. ball. Nothing short about that, Wayne Clark. It crashed into the off stump and the middle. That was an absolute ripper. And that would sum up that stump to stump bowling that Morris has been so good at the whole afternoon. He's probably carried the WA side in that realm, other than Matthew Kelly and Paris. But that was a beauty to get rid of Holt. Well, that was a belt. He just beat him with pace then, didn't he? He just uh, a perfectly pitched Yorker. Just watching that now. Right up 
just played over the top. Didn't move his feet. It, they looked like they were nailed to the ground there and really just beat him with pace. So it's been a very, very imp impressive performance by Lance Morris. We've seen him. For six, back over the, the top of the spinner's head. Paris. LB. Beautiful. Couldn't really say much more than that being a classic LBW decision. Edwards goes for 16. Paris. Bang on target. From around the wicket, it was full angling in it at often middle, I would think. LBW from Joel and Edwards, Harris, you watch the replay wicket. here, Go. Dan. No foot movement. That front foot is only just outside the crease line. It looks like it even maybe hit him on the back yeah, pad as well. Um, I, for once, got a decision in line with the, the umpire. I fired him as well. Yeah, back pad trouble. Even fanning at points appealing there, just having seen the side on view and knowing the height. So to you being the expert, but um, yeah, we've been very, very fortunate. Some wonderful keepers for Australia in women's cricket. There's a chance here for a catch. And Dorcious departs. Well bowled there by Paris. Caught by Kelly or Hardy? I think it's Kelly down there in the deep. But a very good catch nonetheless in Western Australia. Strike. They get their seventh wicket. The uh, innings of Dorcious. Just seeing on the replay here, Paris short. Dorcious went after it. Kelly is the man that I called out there. He was under it and took a very good catch. And a very good afternoon to you, Wayne Clark. Yeah, good afternoon. Yeah, and it's been, they've been set that up, haven't they? The very first delivery Dorcious got um, was a short delivery, which he skied, but just short of that. Which is just a remarkably low rate. As that one's edged and nice, comfortable catch at second slip. It's a five wicket haul for Lance Morris in the first game of the 2022 23 Shield season. Comfortable catch at second slip. The Cameron Bancroft in there. And five wickets for Morris. Eight wickets down now for New South Wales as Tremaine works his way back to the pavilion. There you go. Ideal delivery to tail ender, just forcing them back, squaring up over the top of off. And Tremaine, yeah, good enough to, to find the edge, not good enough to, to control that ball and dead bat it any further. And a great five for for Lance Morris. He's been excellent today. You were just touching on the fact that his accuracy and his 